All right, Jake Phelps here, and I'm going ahead and putting together a canopy out of PVC and a tarp. <clears throat> and what I did is I got seven 10-foot pieces of PVC and a whole heck of a lot of connectors. And this is the stuff you use to put together. I used to build pools when I was a teenager, and this is the same stuff we used back then, too. It took me a second to, you know, remember exactly how to do it. But you throw this purple stuff on right here. And then whatever you're going to attach it to, say I was getting ready to attach that to, to this elbow coupling, what you would do is put the purple stuff on this, and then you put the green stuff on this on the inside, purple on the outside of this, and then you push them together real hard and turn at the same time until it stops. And make sure, you know, you got somewhere, like put it on the ground or something and then do it. And then you hold it for 20 to 30 seconds. And that holding it for 20 to 30 seconds is huge. So that you don't have, you know, stuff break. And the best way to, like, you know, put something together from what I've, you know, been messing with and stuff is to put it up against a wall. And it just helps. I mean, you use the ground too. but And also, you know, I think it's best to um, go ahead and put put it together on the, uh, the ground and then mount it all at once. But, um... We'll see if that theory holds true here when I go to mount this thing. And I'll show how I mount it and my whole process. All right, and I got, um, I don't know if I just said this, but I got $100 worth of stuff. And this is the tarp I'm going to use. It was only like 10 bucks. It's, seven, it's a 7.4 seven by, 7 by 9.6. And it's real heavy. It's the heavy duties they had. I got some zip ties. I got some um, more liquid nails and a whole bunch of couplings. You know, I had to kind of figure all that out, you know, on the way there and while I was there to figure out exactly, you know, and this stuff was 10 bucks. So I spent 100 bucks in materials for this. All right, now for some of this stuff like this, you'll see where this goes later. A level surface for keeping everything aligned is very important. See, I'm going to put two more elbows down there. And it really helps to have a level surface when doing this stuff for a lot of reasons. A big level surface is very helpful. All right, for this part, you just kind of eyeball it. And I'm also going to go ahead and throw a square on it, one of these big squares. Just kind of eyeball it, make sure you got a 45, you know, like this. And I'm going to, like I said, put this square on it. And right now, these are just dry. This is, right here, is dry fit to this. So this is actually three separate pieces. Three. And then I got my fourth over here, which I'll put on last. So I'm just going to dry fit it, um, put my primer and my cement up on something right here so I'm not bending down and what have you, and just do that on each side. All right, I've just got one more corner to do now. And what I did with, um, with these last two is when I'm doing them, I'm trying to kind of add a bow to this a little bit so that this isn't you know so that this is curved upwards so that this pipe right here is curved this way so that it'll kind of give it a natural bow and what I did over there is I just put that end on something when I did this end so that when I put this together it would you know hopefully give it that natural bow once it dries it's just to keep the sun off. It's not for rain. I mean, as long as it stays put and it keeps the sun off, I'm happy. All right, I got the uh, the tarp up. I'm just um, kind of milling it over my head, trying to figure out how it is that I'm going to secure it. I've got an idea, but 
I gotta kind of look at it and you know mill it out in my head a little bit and make sure it's gonna work and the way I got up there I zip tied these two ends just so I could look at it and have a visual all right so I've got these at the length they need to be it's gonna be different for every application as far as this is concerned and the way I'm doing this you know it's just something I made up Take my rope like that, and I go ahead and pop a bowling knot, bowline knot, only knot you need to know, there, and then run that through, this is a little trick to get tension. You don't even need straps if you know this trick. All you need is rope. You can get all kinds of tension with that. I'm loosening this one. You just throw a half hitch in it after you tighten it. See, it's gonna run these along. You do it like that. You know, it's just something I made up to keep this thing on here. I wasn't anticipating putting these 45s on here, so it kind of messed up my plan. And I went ahead and bolted them too, just to make sure. So that's where we are. When I'm done uh, with this, you know, I'll show how I got this thing on here and um, explain it then. All right, so here is the top of it. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it will serve its purpose of keeping the sun off. I guess the rain too, because um, I thought about it and it kind of seems like if rain does kind of puddle in a spot, it'll just blow up more than likely. Now underneath here, I just did like I said I was gonna do and just did all these and then secured them up here I mean, I can put stuff up here. It's kind of cool, actually. You know, I got rope if I need it. And then I just, I ran them this way, like I showed over there. And then I ran two this way. So, I mean, the tarp was a little bit big, but now it's time to put this thing on. All right, so I've got, um, I've got it on here. And the way I did it is I put holes in the boat, one inch. And then I took this coupling Cut it in half and you gotta be careful cutting these couplings because I tried to do the first one with a freaking miter saw and it literally or the second one the first one cut okay with the miter saw the second one exploded like straight up and it freaking cut me it was pretty nuts so that's dangerous don't cut cut couplings with a freaking miter saw but anyway and it's got you know now I just pushed it up over on there and now I'm gonna put an end cap on the bottom and then you know, I'm going to secure all that with the, um, I'm going to put a little bit of the, uh, the PVC primer and, and resin right there and then just kind of knock this down until it goes over it and I'll have my mark and everything. And then underneath I'm going to cut it and I'm going to put an end cap the same way. And that's how I'm going to secure all of them. And now I'm going to put a board right here, another board right there. And um, me and that Sandy S's were just talking about. She was like, why don't you put a board on this backside? And it has to do with the spring on the water. You know, things on the water, they need to have some give. So that's why I'm putting it over here. So it's not an abrupt stop and something doesn't break. So that's where we are. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. All right, to get my measurements on this, what I'm doing is I am, I got this on here. It's loose. It's not connected yet. Measuring it, it's about an inch. This is the mark that I want to be here. So I'm putting this inch mark here, popping the vice grips on.
and this way I don't overshoot it when I try to um, get this in the correct spot. Put the primer there. And then put the PVC cement right underneath the primer. So they'll blend together once I do this. That way I've got a perfect mark. That was the last uh, cap. It is now secure. Flimsy as can be, but you know, what do you expect for PVC? Alright, got it all done now. I was just using that come along to hold it forward while I put those um, 45s on there. But yeah, she's um, she's good to go. So I'll go ahead and test her, you know, tomorrow. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Should be fine. It's definitely unorthodox, but it um it will work. Alright, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.